this is definitely one of the biggest boxes I've seen in a while. It's huge and uh, stay tuned because I'll show you what's inside of it in a second. Alright guys, I have some really bad news for you. It's a horrible way to start the review on this Cybertron PC computer, but Randy is dead. He was sucked into that fan and he came out the back in a bunch of little pieces. Very, very sad day. But there's a silver lining to every cloud. And now we get to see that this is an awesome, very cool running case. We're here with the Cybertron PC Vortex. I'll give you one guess why it's called the Vortex. That's it, you got it. Lots and lots of air cooling. This is definitely not one of the uh, quieter gaming systems out there, but it is very powerful. And if you want to get a very powerful gaming system, but you don't want to build it yourself, or you don't want to go through all the trouble, this one's already built for you. And by Cybertron PC, which is really great because they use regular components. Everything is, you know, ATX form factor. You can swap everything. You can upgrade it and modify it to your, you know, specifications. You can do whatever you want with it. You're not stuck with like, a, like an HP that comes in a proprietary form factor case with a proprietary motherboard. They use regular parts in here that you could just buy. They just put it together for you, so you don't have to do it if you're lazy like me. So let's talk about some of the specs on this thing. First of all, I'll go over the specs and then I'll, sh I'll show you the case because the case is it's ridiculous. It's just it's really crazy. Uh, so let's go over the basic stuff. Q6600. 2.4 gigahertz core 2 quad. You guys know it already, 1066 megahertz front side bus. Plenty of L2 cache, it's a nice quad core. It's gonna let you run multiple applications at once with no slowdown at all. Lots of hyper threading in there. Good, very good, very popular processor. Probably the most popular quad core processor on the market. Actually, definitely, I don't think that's even up for grabs. Uh, what else? The motherboard, P5NE by Asus. So you're not using some generic motherboard, you got a brand named Asus motherboard in there. If you don't know, that uses the 650i chipset from Nvidia. You get four gigabytes of 800 megahertz DDR2 on board, so you're gonna have plenty of memory to run your Vista, not a problem. 250 gigs of hard drive space, of course it's a SATA 2 connection, so three gigabit per second, obviously, on a gaming system you're not gonna go any lower. What else you get? Let's talk about video cards. You don't get one video card, you get two. You get a 9600 GT, and then you get another 9600 GT, and they are running an SLI, so you get the performance of both of them, which is great, and it looks pretty nice in the case when you have four DVI ports, just, and you're only using one, it's kinda hot, I like it. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention, don't even zoom in. Come back out, back out to me. You get keyboard, mouse, and speakers, and they're all Logitech. Like I said, they don't use anything proprietary. They're using all name brand parts. You get really nice Logitech speakers, which sounded great for being very tiny. You get a nice Logitech mouse, and you get a nice Logitech keyboard. Nice and simple, works great. It's corded, so you can definitely game with this. It's not a super duper gaming mouse, but you can definitely game with that. I did no problem. And now we can move on to the case. So first of all, Right now it's just on, but you have a lot of cool options on the fan, on this, uh, on this case, especially as far as cooling goes. So, first button. This button right here turns on that fan. Nice and quiet too, it's actually not loud at all, and uh, it's pretty nice. So, let me move these speakers and stuff out of the way since I'm gonna be showing you guys the case. Let's go to the next button. Actually, before I even go to the next button, I kinda wanna show you guys. This button controls this fan, and this, over here, where is it? There it is, this is the fan controller for this fan. So you can crank it all the way up and now it's really blowing or you can bring it all the way down. Now this is not your only fan. Let's go to the side of this case. Now this button, guess what? Controls that fan. And then again, big controller right there so you can crank it all the way up or you can make it nice and quiet or turn it off altogether. Now back to the front, this opens up. There's your power and your reset. You got a 3.5 inch right there, and you got one, two, three, four, five, five and a quarter bays. One of which is being used by this LG DVD burner, which is very nice. Now, this is gonna be a little tough, but I will show you, come over here to the top. This is your uh, input output. What do you got up there? You got two USB 2.0s, you got a firewire, and you got input and output for your headset, microphone and headset. So that's nice that it's there. Whew, heavy. All right, now. Let me show you the back. Like I said, it's very nice. So we see uh, two video cards sticking out there. So starting from the bottom, instead of the top today, we'll change things around. Actually, let me move over here. It's a little quieter. You get one 9600 GT, 
dual link DVIs, two of them, so you can do two monitors at the 2560 by 1600. That's if you don't use the cards in SLI, which you most likely will want to do though, because it does give you a nice performance increase when you're running two of these things in SLI. You probably get a 60 to 90% jump, depending on the state of the drivers and what game you're playing and how well it supports uh, SLI. Moving on up over here is your 5.1 channel audio, right there. You get four USB 2.0 ports, as well as a Firewire. This right here would be your 10100 1000 gigabit ethernet. eSATA, which is very nice to have in case you have external hard drives that use the eSATA interface, which is very fast, just as fast as if it was inside your drive. This is, uh, this is a pink plug. Uh, this is a, uh, it's a parallel, but I don't really know what you use those for. My dad used one, something about a printer. I don't know, I don't know what that's for. Got a nice uh, TV out right here, there's a composite out. You might use that, it's pretty convenient. And your legacy PS2s that are right there in case you have an old mouse or keyboard that you want to use. Those are very handy dandy. Now, I'm going to show you the inside of the case just because this thing is so crazy. Let's back it out. Let's see what this thing looks like. Took off the thumb screws already. All right, so we're taking a look at the inside. As you can see, it's fairly, uh, fairly simple. You got two gig sticks in there, so if you want to add more in the future, way, way in the future, when you want to use eight gigs of RAM, you will be able to. It's using two gig sticks. You get a mass cool CPU cooler. I don't know if you can stop that. Yep, mass cool. And uh, here are your two 9600 GT video cards, which are very nice. Those are from Asus with a nice little SLI bridge right there. Hard drives over here. There you go. <laughs> Power supplies over here. We're doing a crisscross pattern today, Lance. All right, and now back over to down here. This is weird. I don't know what this is, but this is supposed to, I guess, store all the extra uh, toolless bake hatties that you get in the box, which I'll show you shortly. You get a lot of stuff in the box, and I guess you can put whatever you want in here. You know, it's really pretty much up to you. It's just a, a box. I don't know. It's, that's came out of nowhere. Pretty interesting. Interesting idea, Cybertron PC. Good job, guys. Now, let us go over what you get in the box because you get a lot of crazy stuff. Let me get the package. Ugh. Bam, check this out. Let's open this puppy up. Mm. First of all, lots of instructions for your power supply, for your motherboard, for your video cards, the case itself. Again, remember they use regular parts. They don't use their own parts. So you get manuals for everything, which I think is great. I love that. What else you get? Logitech. This big thing that explains the back of your computer. If you don't know what the back of your computer is, well, I don't know. Oh, wait a second. What did that say? All right, guys, so I might have made a mistake. Uh, when I was showing you the back panel connector, the actual back panel where that little yellow thing that I said was a composite, that's actually not a composite. That is a SP diff coaxial output. So that'll do your analog out. What else do you get in the box? A couple of these uh, DVI to VGA converters. Focus, there we go. Very nice, very cool, and you get two of them. What else do you get? You get the uh, breakaway cable. So these are your components, 1080i, digitalized video on the other end for your video cards. You get two more USB 2.0 ports. You get another breakaway cable because you had two video cards, so you get two of them. And two digital S video cables, which are actually quite long, so those might go all the way to your TV. You get a bunch of riser screws and screws and risers, extras of everything. You get, is this a uh, floppy? Yep, this is a floppy, in case you wanna add a floppy. You get a bunch of driver disks for just about everything you could imagine. And then finally, very nice, your Vista Home Premium Disk, which you may need if you corrupt your operating system somehow, but I think you'll be fine. So, very nice, lots of good stuff here. All in all, awesome PC. If you want to overclock it from the factory, it has so much air cooling that you could probably overclock it almost like it was on water. It's got a ton of fans, really big ones. It's actually, the CPU cooler is the, mo is the loudest thing on here. These actual huge side fans are very quiet because they're not spinning at high RPM because they're so big. So besides that, everything on here is actually pretty quiet. Case is a uh, CPU cooler, you can probably hear it, it's not that quiet, but still an awesome computer, great for you to upgrade. If you have any questions on this great Cybertron PC Vortex gaming system, you can go ahead and email me, and that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. For more information on the Cybertron PC Vortex quad-core gaming system, go to CompUSA.com and type in C122-4552 into the search box. Or you can always call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 1-800-COMPUSA.